Plenty of clothing on this morning. Today's main job is to get those drawings off to the fabricator and then I have to wait for some deliveries at the pub for some beer. So what I'm going to do is take my laptop to the pub, use the Wi-Fi at the pub, send the documents off and then go into the unit and create something. As of yet, I don't know what. Just a few more bits to finish up here and we can then go down into the unit. Still not had a delivery though. I've got my coffee and we've just had a pallet of goodies delivered folks. This is what will be on next week or the week after. Full Nelson. Pint. Moa. More. Yulu, Necoil, oh, I've got juice box there, that's good tackle that is. We've got a few more over here actually as well. An Arbor, Blue Bee, and then these are some more shiny beers. Put the back stop there to stop sawdust and tools falling down the back and then as I'm having a quick tidy up again I notice I've not sent the mash paddle out yet so we will do that now <laughs> So, after starting filming, I thought that I'd actually left my battery bag at home and the battery ran out on the camera. Turns out it was in the boot all along, I could have changed the battery. I've made a, a table saw sled to help guide the timber on the saw and make it easier for cutting pieces of wood. Uh, so, I've come back home anyway, we've changed the battery and... It turns out that I didn't capture much of that build, so I don't have much footage. I've now got the children, there's one of the little turds, and they need feeding, and they refuse to go to screw fix. I want to pick up some Ethernet cable, some Cat5e cable, to run down to the unit, so I can take these to work with me, and they can have Wi-Fi in the office, uh, which I think is a grand idea. Okay, just coming outside, oh, it's not there, I have a television somewhere which I require. Aha, I found it, I found it, so, let's bring this in the house. So this television has a CD, DVD player on the side. This is what I'm hoping we can have up at the unit. It's not very big. Well, but I'm not buying one for the kids to watch. When chances are they'll just be on tablets anyway. So it will take a TV antenna. But I don't think it's digital friendly. I also have this wall bracket to mount it with which should come in handy. I think the screw holes are the same. Well, I'm coming back to this, folks. I have literally just spent 20 minutes looking on the internet to try and find some way of getting this to work on an internal aerial, because there isn't going to be an aerial in the unit. So I thought, set top box, plug the antenna in, to the back of the set-top box and then another antenna into here, right? No, 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 no! 
It seems it's been that long since I put a television together that all of that tackle seems obsolete. So can anyone point me in the right direction so I can get an indoor aerial sat on top of the TV through a free view box of some type and into either a TV or a scart socket because I, I I just don't I just don't know how to do it. <laughs> can you hear Gemma singing? Right, I've got to apologise. Today's vlog has been very sketchy because of the battery issue, and that was totally my fault. I did have a battery. I made a crosscut sled for the table saw. I'll show you it tomorrow. And I managed to go across to Screwfix. I know, but I picked up some uh, Ethernet cable and clips. So my first task tomorrow is going to be to connect into the existing router, existing router at work and run a cable all the way into the main unit, hook it up to the second router that I've got, thus giving me Wi-Fi access in the unit. So I'm using this other router as a slave. I also might have a welder to pick up. So other than that, we'll see you tomorrow folks, hopefully the video will make a little bit more sense.